the righteous idol worship. The righteous idol worship. Take me to Exodus 20 verse 4 and 5. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Thou shalt not make unto thee any what? Graven image. Image, yes. Or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above. Now, understand this revelation. He said, Thou shalt not make to thee any graven what? Or any likeness of anything that is what? Heavens. That means that you shouldn't make any image of anything above. Which means that making an image of Mary is wrong. Making an image of Jesus Christ is what? Making an image of any angel is what? Wrong. When you bow to those images, the Bible says that God detests it, that that is an idol. Go ahead. Or that is in the earth beneath. That is in the earth beneath, which is under the earth, which is Satan. Anything at all that you mow in your house, buy baby, use a, a stick, carve it and keep and bow to it in reverence and in replacement of God, that that is an idol. Uh -huh. Or that is in the water under the air. That is under the water. Somebody will say, I be, I be, what do they call them, Marine? Those people that do, hear me, what do they call them? No, Mami Water is there. Huh? Uh, it's the wine, up here. Uh, uh, some people, I don't know how to mention it. Some people will tell you there is the wine. They will go and mold something that look like something. The Bible said God condemned it. And that is an idol worship. He said the one under. He said the one is born in heaven. Which means even Jesus or even Mary detests you bowing down to his what? Image. There's some churches you will go, you see somebody will be molded. And you will see somebody will walk to that place. And need that. Oh, Jesus. Which Jesus are you calling? Oh, she, she. Something that will use leg. Huh? <clears throat> God have upon us. Ignorance is so much in the church that a lot will never and will not make up. Go ahead. Verse 5. Yes. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. It's a sin. That's why I called it the righteous I don't worship. Because you're not a liar, you don't drink, you don't go to the club, you don't do those evil things naturally they see as a sin. But there are ones you're doing because of ignorance, you go to hell. All those things are I don't want. Worship. Yes, Corinthians chapter 8. Forgive me, verse 4. As concerning therefore the eating of those things that are offered in sacrifice unto idols, mm -hmm. we know that an idol is nothing in the world mm. and that there is none other God but one. Idol is nothing in the world but there is no other God but what? But what? I didn't hear you, but what? One. So every other thing you worship apart from God is not God. And Bible made it very clear in the book of John. Jesus said, I am, I am the truth. I am the way, the truth, and the word. So when you go and need that way, image of Mary is standing. Mary is not even the way to God. Not to talk of bowing down to her. Mary was only favor. Just like I am favored now, I pray for somebody healing ghosts. I prayed for people with HIV disappeared. I prayed for about two people who they confirmed that they came back alive. I am only privileged to be favored with such grace and mandate. That is the same thing with Mary. There's some people we worship her. Some people we put image and bow down and lie flat. And God said that he, God, detests such kind of what? Worship. And God said, any likeness of anything in what? In heaven. That means, even if you mourn something that looks like God. Okay, look at the man, the actor that acted like Jesus Christ. You know, we don't keep such picture here. I don't know who had that picture. Uh, what's this man's name? Kind? That acted the film of Jesus. People has made his picture. 
and put it where in their church and in their houses. When they, if you go to some places, they set altar in the house. You see one big picture of an actor. They call it. They call it who? They call it Jesus of where? And in the morning, somebody will kneel down there. Jesus, ask something. Jesus, ask something. And sometimes after that prayer, the prayer you pray once. Is that correct? That was what we discussed this morning. That what brings prayer to existence is your faith. Strength that God has anointed your tongue to have the power of death and life. That is why even a cocoon pusher can pray. And the prayer will be what? That is why a sinner will equally pray and the prayer will God cannot, if God gives a man a gift, he doesn't take it. He leaves it for you. And that is why a gift of a man coming without what? Repentance. And the gift will still be what? Walking. In as much as the person has not what? Repented. So, the picture you kept there and be praying and worshipping is idol. A mere American actor. There's another one that came from Europe that looked like Jesus Christ. There's another one that trended a few months ago that visited Africa. If that one snap picture too, some people will equally mold it and put it in their pallor. That one, nah, uh, Jesus Christ. Whereby Jesus has won and said, God has won, I said very clearly, do not make any image of anything likeness put in heaven. So, anything that you equally believe that dwelleth in heaven should not be made as an image where you bow unto it. The Bible made it clear. That Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. The main thing is, do you believe that Jesus came? Yes. Do you believe he died? Yes. Do you believe he resurrected? Do you believe he's your savior? Yes. You bow down, you worship him. When Jesus comes here now, you will know that he has come. You will feel his glory. You will know that there is a presence of a deity. You will know that there is a presence of somebody that is so powerful. The presence is not that picture. It's not even Jesus. Now, even some people have started enlarging their pastor's picture. They will put it and bow down to it. They will hold the picture. Hold up. Bow down. So that their picture. Ah, may God have mercy upon the church. Say amen. So God is not happy the way the righteous is going all about by ignorance and making mistakes to worship idols. Because I have discovered that the only home we have is where. And when you mix the journey to that home, your own is finished. Because the eternity you are facing when you're going home is something that is forever. Born in here forever. Living there forever. I beg, make I go with you. It is now that you have the opportunity to choose a Bible living church, stick to it, and pray God for your blessings, and have a plan of life, and not worship an idol. As I'm talking to you now, some people who are running around, God bless me with marriage, bless me with husband. I'm telling you, eh, in next 10 years, 10 years is not, you know, because in next two, three years now, the president will come and they will elect another person. That one is four years will just come. Pam. If you add it now, seven, eight years. No, so. If you remove 10 years from that person's life, he might no longer be talking about marriage. He wants to see how she can make money, how she can do this and all that. So the best thing that can happen to the child of God is for you to choose a Bible-living church who can always make your thought and your thinking to be of the heavenlies then ask God for your blessings. Even in the next 20 years, you will see some people who are getting old. They will be equally running from one church. Anywhere they hear this prophet is coming, they will run. What are they looking for? They are not looking for Jesus, but they are looking for what? You know, so the only best option you can have in your life, get a Bible living touch. Where true revelation is being taught. Sit down there and worship God. And only be praying for your blessings. And that blessings will come. It will come. It's all about faith, encourage, and believe. Then you will see what God will do. We do.